Hello everyone. Recently, the Nobel Prizes for the year 2024 have been announced and we are going to be discussing one of those prizes. This year, the Nobel Prize in Medicine or Physiology was awarded to Victor Ambrose and Gary Rufkin of USA. We all understand the significance of Nobel Prizes and it is only given to the most breakthrough researchers. Ambrose and Rufkunz discovered a new class of microRNA molecules from their work on a small worm, C. allegens. This turned out to be essential for all multicellular organisms, including humans. So a new principle of gene regulation has been identified. MicroRNAs, they are tiny molecules that have a huge impact on how your body works. You might have never heard of them before, but trust me, they play a massive role in everything from development to disease. Let's start by discussing the basic process. All living organisms, including all of you, contain DNA. It is present in the nucleus of every cell of your body. Segments of DNA are called genes. They decide the different characteristics of organisms and how different parts or cells will work. These genes express themselves through production of specific proteins. When a gene is activated, it gets copied into a messenger RNA or what we call mRNA. This is transcription. The mRNA then travels out of the cell's nucleus into the cytoplasm, where it gets translated into proteins or as we call the process, translation. So DNA makes RNA and RNA makes proteins. And the proteins which you have or you don't have is what defines all your traits. This is the process of gene expression. Now let's talk about gene regulation. It determines which proteins are synthesized by the cell and how much is synthesized. So here's where the or micro RNAs come in. Think of microRNAs like smart switches that control whether or not your cells can make a protein from that mRNA. They do this by binding to mRNA molecules and stopping them from being translated into proteins. So here, transcription or production of mRNA is happening as a routine. It is the mRNA which is prevented further from protein synthesis. This process is hence called post-transcriptional gene regulation. Okay, but now where do these microRNAs come from? Well, they are encoded by your genes just like any other RNA. But instead of just being copied directly into protein-making messages, they first get turned into long precursor molecules. These long molecules are then chopped into smaller pieces by enzymes of the cell. And one of these small pieces will become mature microRNAs. Why should we care about these tiny molecules? Turns out, microRNAs are super important for all sort of biological processes. Think about it. We have the same DNA, same set of genes in all our cells, but our cells are of different types. The skin cells are different from the muscle cells, so they don't need the same proteins. For this differentiation of cells to be possible, some genes will have to be switched off by the microRNA. With this discovery of microRNA, this age-old question of why different cells are working differently has now finally been answered. What happens when these microRNAs don't work properly? Well, their misbehavior can lead to serious diseases or health implication. For instance, in cancer, if a microRNA that normally suppresses tumor is missing or malfunctioning, the cancer cells might start growing uncontrollably. So, to wrap it all up, microRNAs are tiny but mighty molecules that regulate how genes are expressed by your body. Scientists are exploring ways to harness the power of these microRNAs to treat diseases. We could design therapies that are targeting specific microRNAs to either boost or block their activity. 
Imagine using microRNAs in genetic therapy either to stop cancer cells from growing or to helping in regeneration of cells. We have a lot of exciting research ahead of us for which you all must watch out. So with this, we conclude today's discussion and we'll keep bringing more such interesting topics for you. So stay connected and watch out for Deep Dive.